Today we're making sweet corn pudding. The first thing you do is put your butter in a large microwave safe bowl and heat it up in the microwave just until it melts. Then you're going to add your drained whole kernel corn. Add your creamed corn. Add sugar, a little bit of salt, vanilla extract, then go ahead and beat your eggs and add those into the bowl. Use your spoon to stir everything together very well. Last thing you add is your flour. I like to sift the flour in to make sure there's no lumps. But if you're not able to sift it, you can just add a little bit of flour at a time and make sure you mix it well after each addition. This just helps make sure your corn pudding doesn't turn out lumpy. Then you're gonna spray your baking dish with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm using an eight by eight glass dish. Pour your corn pudding mixture into your baking dish. I like to sprinkle a little cinnamon on the top before I put it in the oven. You don't have to do that though. And then you're gonna bake it for 40 to 50 minutes in your 400 degree oven. When it's ready, the sides will be golden brown. When you take it out, it will still jiggle a little bit in the middle. It has a caramelized texture on the top and it's soft and creamy in the middle. Let your corn pudding set up for about 10 or 15 minutes and then you can go ahead and serve it. This is definitely sweet corn pudding. It's almost like having a dessert, but if you like your corn pudding that way, I think that you'll really enjoy this recipe. All the instructions are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out at www.likingourlove.com for recipes and homemaking tips.